I want to ask all of you to please watch this entire video. It's very important. Today is November the 7th, 2016, and this video is not about the presidential election. It's far more important. Good morning, YouTube, my beloved, precious brothers and sisters. Today, let's give God the honor, the praise, and the glory forever and ever as we begin our day together. Please, I encourage you to watch this entire video. I think you'll be glad that you did. I'm going to begin our day with a little sip of my coffee. Let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave. Do that now. Now, many of you may be asking what happened to the video that uh, I uploaded last night titled Vision of a Nuclear Attack on America and a message from the angel Gabriel. Now, with that said, I want to explain as best I can. Those of you that have followed me over the years know I am very, very skeptical when it comes to prophecy. Someone that had a vision or a word from the Lord or a visitation by an angel. Now, there are so many, so many of these visions and prophecies on YouTube and there have been for so many years and how I have always stood my ground knowing that the prophecies given to the Old Testament prophets are different than the visions and dreams and prophecies for today that for today it's for a personal message to the individual that has given this dream or this vision that how when Jesus came that he gave the final prophecies for the world with that said I'm a hard sell I'm the toughest critic out there when I see so many prophecies and visions going around the YouTube channels and if you know me you know that for those of you that are fortunate enough to have seen that video before I took it down at the request of Catania, a precious, precious sister in Christ. Those of you that were fortunate enough to see that video and to hear her words, you've seen a real, a real and true vision you heard a vision from God and you heard the message from the angel Gabriel this I guarantee now let me explain why I took the video down I made a trip to Detroit Michigan yesterday to see a viewer and subscriber like all of you I finally got the chance to, to see her face to face she asked if I would baptize her, and Chrissy and I went to perform her baptism, and I baptized her in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And she sat down and she shared this vision with Christy and I, and let me tell you, let me tell you, the hair on the back of our neck and our arms were standing up. I knew. I knew that this was a real vision. This was a vision given to her by the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That this was the real thing. I am sitting there, a witness to a real, true vision given to Katrina. She is so precious. Katrina, if you're watching, I want you to know, Christy, you're all that she is talking about. She loves you so very much, and so do I. I love you and your family. This was a real vision. Here I'm sitting all these years, such a skeptic. I'm hearing a real vision given to her, given by God. Now, I've always said that the prophecies for today, as we look into the New Testament, are on a personal basis for that person. For them and for their family not for the world 
And this is what this vision was regarding a nuclear attack on America. It wasn't for the world's ears. It was for her and her immediate family. And when she spoke about the angel Gabriel, Christy, I'm telling you, she about lost it. We knew that this was real. How she described his massive size, how, I don't want to, this is personal. This was a real message. Angels are messengers. This was a real message to her, for her personally. Any of you that were fortunate enough to watch that video for the maybe the first time on YouTube, you've seen you were you were given the chance to witness a real vision from God and a real message from an angel by the name of Gabriel. Now, to a, a person that left a comment saying that nuclear missiles are a hoax, I want to ask you, what bubble, what fantasy land are you living in? Nuclear, weapons of warfare, nuclear missiles are a reality. And what else is a reality? The devastation and the destruction on mankind is real, is very, very real. And this vision and this message from Gabriel is real and it was for her. And she asked me, I'm not mad at you, sister. It's been my honor to spend yesterday with you. And I'm honored that you asked me to baptize you. You are a true, true, very, very loved by Yahweh, very loved by God. Sister, and it was my privilege to meet you. I want you to know that I love you so very much. She felt uncomfortable having the video up. She knew it was for her. It was a vision for her and her immediate family. No one else. And it was a message for her and no one else. And out of respect, I'm not here. That video last night was only up for a couple of hours. It was over the 200 view mark. By this morning, it would have been in the thousands. But this channel is not about views. It's not about popularity. It's about truth. And out of respect for Catania, I took that video down because it was, a, if you got a chance to watch it, you witnessed on YouTube a real, a real message and a real vision from God. Ministry announcements. I'm very worried, please pray. I'm very worried about this ministry. It's, uh, there are no uh, offerings to announce today and uh, our ministry is, uh, it's in God's hands now. Uh, we came off a very bad month and this is the month of uh, November and Thanksgiving and we are an actual, actual ministry, a church without a building, so to speak, in order to take in. And, and you know, this is what I see with this presidential uh, election that's going on with uh, the Clinton Foundation. Uh, they are a, a charity, but they're funding their daughter's wedding and trips and uh, the money's going in their pocket. But I'm not just some pastor that decided to help the homeless. When you have uh, uh, companies like PayPal and ProPay, when you uh, accept credit cards for the offerings, uh, you're given at the end of the year a 1099. You have to either be a 501c3 church, a building, or a ministry that is registered with your state with a DBA or doing business as we are, Trumpet of God Ministries. And I pay tax, I believe, in what the scripture says. Render unto Caesar what is due Caesar. These are the words of Yeshua. These are the words of Jesus. Render unto Caesar what is due Caesar. 
give unto God what is due God. That's in regards to paying the tax, and we pay the tax. And this ministry is crippled. This ministry is crippled to the point where I don't know if we can continue. We need a miracle, and I need prayer. We need a miracle. We need someone to come through that can help this ministry, that can afford to really help this ministry. We've been hanging on by a thread, by a very small few, one sister in uh, East Point, but has been keeping us, uh, our head above water for this ministry. And this is what the devil wants. He wants to sink the ship of dreams. So many salvations, so many people accepting Jesus through this ministry and so many homeless fed and clothed and gotten back on their feet through this ministry. And this has infuriated the devil. Please, we're at the point where I, I have no, nothing else except prayer. Please pray for our ministry. If you, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. We are in debt, thousands of dollars in debt. I don't know. It's in God's hands and the power of prayer. The link to our ministry will be below, as always. And Katanya, you are a very special child of the Most High King. And I love you very much, and I hope to see you again. I cherished our time together yesterday. God bless you all. Pray for this ministry.